Yo, yo, yo! Kumusta? Maligayang pagbabalik sa akin channel. Today's video is a little bit different, okay? I don't know if you guys are familiar with the channel called The Filipina P, alright? I am not that familiar with it, like I wouldn't say that I am familiar with it, but YouTube does suggest the content of this YouTube channel to me, and obviously you guys have requested that I react to this video. Apparently it is a hot topic or used to be a hot topic. So the title reads, The Men That Choose To Leave The Passport Bros. So the people that suggested this video to me uh, quickly explained to me what it was about. Apparently it's about foreigners, Americans and such, men that leave their home country to go to Asia and in this case I guess the Philippines to find women to date and to marry. And apparently the women in their country, so American women, are not happy about that. So I guess the Filipina P uh, goes in depth about this subject. So I thought, huh, interesting. Why not learn about this and react to it? Now, before we start, make sure to follow me on Instagram because that is where you can DM your suggestions. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. Folks, the Filipina P here. And today's question is, what do women think of men who leave their home countries to seek love in foreign lands? Well, apparently there's quite a war of words going on between a certain segment of Western women and men who pursue international relationships. It seems there's a lot of animosity against these guys with name calling and outrageous accusations. Okay. The conflict centers around a movement called the Passport Bros. To seek love? Are all men seeking love? I don't know about that. Who are typically black guys who have gotten fed up with oh. the situation in the West oh. and decided to look elsewhere for a happy life. Oh. Now, even though the passport bros are mostly African Americans, I think you'll recognize the same tactics being used to shame any guy who dares to dream of finding a better mate okay. overseas. So what are these women saying about the men? Passport bros go to third world so this is directed more towards African Americans, okay. Countries and purchase little girls purchase? and turn her into a breeding mare. They're little girls, you're sick. Hey, who you Does she have any proof that these guys are actually purchasing? Like, is this like a legit exchange of goods? Like, hey girl, I like you, can I buy you? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, okay. Calling a little girl. Where is all this anger against the passport bros coming from? It sounds like the guys just want to find greener pastures, and their women don't seem to like him very much anyway. So Greener pastures? Oh my god, who talks like that anymore? I haven't heard this expression in such a long time. Look at you, the Filipina P using like fancy English uh terms and shit. Wow. What's the problem? Well, let's listen to how one woman describes the passport bro phenomenon. Phenomenon. Black women, are you ready? Apparently there's a group of, you guessed it, black men who have grown <laughs> weary of the cult control. <laughs> Love the image. Have over them. So they've decided to seek dominance elsewhere. And that's in the dominance? form of traveling to third world countries to seek a bride. Are you sure it's dominance? What's at play here? is that these dusty, mediocre at best so-called men have finally come to the realization that black women are no longer willing to settle for the bare minimum and are choosing to stay single and maintain their peace. If divesting to desperate and disenfranchised women is so great, why do you all have to make an announcement, a grand announcement? Oh, I know why. Because you actually think that this will hurt black women. 
Oh so, boy! Sayonara. It sounds like there is beef between African American men and African American women. Yeesh! Arrivederci. Adios. Okay, so the undesirable, dusty, mm -hmm. mediocre, at best, so called men want to get away from you? I wonder why they want to do that. You sound really sweet and not bitter at all. <laughs> As for why the passport bros want to announce their intentions, maybe they're not trying to hurt women. They're just letting other men know that leaving is an option. But if you want to make it all about you, be my guest. So how does this next lady describe the movement? Let's see. I am not mad about black men getting their passports and paying to play overseas. I just truly want to help these men to see logic and reason. A man that's looking to marry a foreign woman went to an event wearing a top hat. Brother, are you serious? You look ridiculous. And you're clearly undesirable, but I'm sure that you've blamed black women for your lack of what it takes to attract them. But you want to go overseas where women are unaware culturally of your nature and pay them to pretend while you give them nothing but money and a wet behind. They aren't marrying these women. The men in this movement are largely undesirables or men that want to use a woman freely without her giving any pushback. No, I'm not mad that certain men have decided to go out of... So these women are basically saying that the other women that are not African American um, have no self-respect. Basically, they would let any men just do whatever that guy wants with them, right? That is insane. The country looking for their next victim. I'm completely okay with that. Hmm, I'm getting some mixed signals here. You say you're fine if the men want to leave, but then you call him ridiculous, clearly undesirable, right? and claim they're just using women. You say you're just trying to help, but that sounds more like an attack. So maybe you do care, just a little. And you say men don't come here for real relationships. But that's just not true. My cousin married a passport bro, and they've been happy for years. There you go. So why are these women misrepresenting the there guys you go. who want to leave? Well, after watching a few a more positive videos, example. I started to notice some common tactics. Tell us. The passport bros are dehumanizing women to the point of basically being used for their uterus and domestic capacity the passport bro wow these are such strong words dehumanizing using their uter uterus the right thing to do is to simply uh interview the women that these passport bros are going for and see if they are uh unhappy with them you know what i'm saying put them to work in the bedroom and the home. Ah, yes. The claim that the guys are coming over here so they can turn women into slaves and force us to work in the bedroom while they impregnate <laughs> us. <laughs> Diabolical. Oh, goodness. You seem to think we're mindless idiots with no right? will of our own. Yeah. We might be traditional women, uh -huh. but we're not empty-headed. Exactly. You may not know this, but in the Philippines, women actually have quite a bit of say-so in the household. Just talk to some of the foreigners that are married to us. But I suppose you know my culture better. It's true. Filipinos in the Philippines, it's a, it's a matriarchal um, country, right? If I'm not mistaken. So... Then I do, right? And as far they as have turning strong us into leading women. you've got that completely backwards. 99% of the time, it's the Filipina begging the foreigner to have a baby. There you go. Where are you getting this stuff from? Mm -hmm. Next. But you have to understand, a lot of us, 46, be 47 soon, each day that goes... And I think it is a reality that a lot of Filipinas love to be with a foreigner because and want to have a kid with a foreigner because they think that that mix is beautiful. And I agree. I tend to agree, man. Uh, when a Filipino mixes with a foreigner, their babies are just gorgeous. And there are so many examples of that. <laughs> she says, women overseas are okay being doormats. Okay. Bye. It makes me more grateful that I'm divorced. I thank God every day that I'm divorced. If you want to get your passport and go overseas, you're welcome to it. Bye. I mean, maybe there you'll find women who are okay with being treated like doormats. I don't know. Yes, ma'am. I'm sure you're very happy with your choices. <laughs> right. And the way you've carefully crafted your life to end up alone. Mm. But you think Ooh. foreign guys treat us like doormats? Lady, 
You have no clue. Foreigners have the general reputation of being more caring and attentive than anything we've ever known. Who told you otherwise? Or maybe you're just making assumptions again. What else you got? Passport bros are nothing but a bunch of pedophiles. Oh. Who's traveling across the world to get young girls. Oh. It's pedophilia tourism. Nothing but pedophiles? Nothing but? Which means that all the guys who right. are partners outside their country are pedophiles? That's one of the stupidest things I've ever heard. But you made this the claim, so you have the burden of backing it up. So please, give us the evidence. Show your data. I've been living here 30 years, and the women that foreigners choose are adults like me. And in case you didn't know, buying little girls is completely illegal. Exactly. The fact is, exactly. the vast majority of passport bros are coming here for a real relationship with a woman, not to molest a child. What's wrong with you? <laughs> and why would you accuse your own men like that? It's 2022. You're talking about a freaking passport. I've had one of these since I was two. Y'all were acting like they just they just came up with these in 2022. <laughs> oh, so oh, ain't nobody gonna do. Do y'all understand how people feel about Americans? That just goes to show you ain't been nowhere. So y'all think y'all gonna run your broke asses over to other countries and they go, oh, these some black canes from America. Most people don't like Americans. They think that we are overrated. They think that we are think that we're better than everybody else. They don't like us. They don't like us. They sure not gonna like you if they know. She has a good point. Uh, I've heard a lot of people who are not Americans talk about Americans and not in a fond way. I mean, I know that the Filipina P wrote here that Filipinos love Americans. Maybe, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Remains to be seen and heard. Did you get your passport so you can come over there and abuse their women? That as a black man, if you want to roll up in some of these other countries and try to abuse their sisters and their daughters and their nieces and their mothers and uh, taking them out, toe tagging 4.5 of them a day, you know what's going to happen. You're going to get hacked up with a machete. Oh my God. Exactly, lady. <laughs> hacked up with a machete. If you come over women, you will get hacked up by a machete. <laughs> I assure you. If you come over here and abuse me, my dog's got a nice big blade with your name on it. And how many passport bros have gotten hacked up? Right? Zero. So I guess that proves they're not here to abuse us. Funny how that little thing called logic works, isn't it? My question is how- Well, I don't know if it's zero, you know? Um, I mean, the hacking with the machete is a figure of speech, but I'm pretty sure that there must be some cases of uh, foreigners who go find love uh, elsewhere and their relationship doesn't work out, right? feel slimy and disgusting as a person knowing full well that you are going to another country seeking out women that you perceive as easier to manipulate easier to control and easier to take advantage of and even if you do find some poor woman that needs a green car and wants to move to the u.s or you know needs money that's still not love so on that note safe travels and i hope that you <laughs> and all the other passport bros get exactly what you're looking for of course, the famous she just wants a green card argument. I get so tired of this one because contrary to what you all seem to think, most Filipinos are happy to stay right here in the ooh, Philippines. Ooh, ooh, if our partner ooh. says, uh, 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 uh. no, 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 like I've been told by actual Filipinos that it's a thing. It's a thing where Filipinos and Filipinas try to find green cards. And it's not just a Filipino thing. I am sorry this happens with a lot of countries out there. You know, like uh, third world countries, people who don't have a great situation, you know where they are, try to leave the country. So the easiest way is to get a freaking, uh, you know, citizenship elsewhere, right? Via immigration or marriage or whatever. So if he wants to live here, that's fine with us. <clears throat> We're really not all that demanding. We just want a roof over our heads and a meal on the table. So what other insults you got? You want to know what your problem is? Your entire life you were told that skinny is good and fat is the worst possible thing that you could be. What? You're not able to wrap your head around fat people being comfortable in the skin that they're in because you're uncomfortable in the skin that you're in. Fat women wear outfits that you won't even wear because you're ashamed of your stretch marks. They wouldn't even give you a second look. The truth is fat was never a bad thing. I honestly don't think that it has anything to do with uh, the shape of the, the woman. 
I honestly don't think that these guys are going to Asia or whatever to find a woman because they're not they're unhappy with how the women look. No, it's I think they're unhappy with how these women are treating them, you know? That's it. Just treating them. I don't think they're treating them with respect. Once we figure that out, you'll never be able to put us back in that box again. You can have it. I'm sure it'll be a much better fit for you. Ah, killing two birds with one stone. Shame the men for not wanting large women and shame skinny women for being skinny. Brilliant. But I'm not sure you're going to convince men they've just been taught not to like fat women. And you're definitely not going to convince me that I'm secretly jealous of you because I can't wear your clothes. A nice try. This is fun. What's next? Someone who comes from one of these third world countries that men go to pick up women, we know they're losers. We know that they go over there because they cannot get anyone in here. And if this man go over there thinking that these women want to build a family with them, that these passport bros want these women for sex, these women want them for money. And again, they deserve to be scammed. We know they're losers. We know that they cannot get any women in here. That's why they go over there. And the same thing with the women. But let's not worry. Boring. Calling guys losers and saying they can get a woman in the West is a tired old insult that just doesn't work. Because what you don't seem to realize is that it's not that they can get a Western woman, it's that they don't want one. Sir, on behalf of all black women everywhere, we absolutely do not give one solitary about you going to another country and finding a wife. Please go choose somebody else. And it never ends the way that y'all think it does. And I really feel sorry for those women. And so if they willing to pump it up, because we know that little thing don't work no more. If they willing to pump it up for y'all. Wow. Wow. That thing don't it's work no more. Day. How oh, are you assuming these things? When you're out of ammo, <laughs> just take the easy way out and go for the low hanging fruit from oh, a guy's junk. She's basically Call just a insulting. Biscuit, a wet noodle. A rumple foreskin. I'm sure they'll actually hurt his feelings so bad, he won't want to leave anymore. Uh -huh. Just like I'm sure he'll totally believe that he don't care if he does. I mean... You don't sound mad or anything. So that's the end of the insults. But in case you lost track, here's a recap. Men that look in other countries for love are undesirable losers. Mm. They're pedophiles mm. whose only interest is purchasing children so they can abuse, dehumanize, and enslave them and turn them into breeding mares and right? domestic robots. That's, that's crazy. These sick men give their poor and desperate women nothing but a wet behind. And all they care about is controlling and molesting their victims with defective junk that has to be inflated with a tire pump. <laughs> but the women aren't angry or upset at all. No, of course not. They're happy to see you go. So at this point, does anyone still wonder why these guys want to escape? Right. Well, at least one woman gets it. If you actually look at a passport bro, which I know many of them, they are not going over there to grape and conquer they are going over there because they are giving up over here the reality is is that there are too many women that are saying that they don't need men men want to be needed mm -hmm. they want to feel valued mm -hmm. like they are protectors they say That's that they're true. tired trying to find a woman in the united states let alone a metropolitan area like la or new york where women say i don't need a man go away who do you think i am my purpose in this they is to defend the past one them. because they're not raping and pillaging and like doing anything crazy. They just want a traditional woman. And that's basically it. Yep. The passport pros are coming here for the exact same reason that so many other guys do. They just want to find a partner that loves them and they've discovered a way to make it happen. So let's call an end to this war. The women say they don't care if the men leave because they're the unwanted ones anyway. So stop attacking men on their way out the door. Just let them go in peace to find happiness wherever they can. Well, that's it for this episode, folks. Thanks for watching. Okay, so I'm sure, look, let's not be naive here. I'm sure there are cases of men, Westerners, that go to Asia or other countries to do exactly what all these women said, you know, and I'm sure that's a minority like this. And I'm sure there are just Westerners, Westerners men that go and 
so that they could actually find a woman with more traditional values who values them you know and does not belittle them and with whom they feel comfortable you know what i'm saying because unfortunately yeah these women that we're talking here they do say things like i don't need a man and they may expect too much from a man and when that man gives them what what they well the basic needs i guess they are still unhappy with it you know and i guess these guys are just fed up with that that's it they're like i'm done plus plus if all of this was real i think we would have heard from these women that are being my mistreated we would have heard from them right if there were if there were that many cases i think so I don't know but this was very interesting and i think there is a, a second video uh, about this topic uh, that the filipina p talked about so if this video interests you and does well maybe i'll react to the other one so let me know in the comment section below your thoughts on this matter maraming maraming salamat po and of course if you found value in this video then do not hesitate to check out my other reaction videos right here